Hello, my name is Gerb Snail, and uh, today I have gotten one too many DMs and questions and so many other ways of asking about how you get UI images. So today we're going to cover it. All right, so you're going to want to go to the link I put in the description, and it'll take you to this lovely page, QuickTag, and you're just going to download the latest release. And we're just going to unzip this. And now in the file thing up here, you're going to want to type in CMD. There you go. All right, so to start off, we're going to uh, type in the help command. And we're just going to see what they've got right now. Um, it does work with Final Shape, but uh, he hasn't made it a dedicated like thing yet for it, um, at least in the official releases. So um, for now, we're just going to type in the Lightfall version, and it should still work. In fact, I know it will. Um, and we're going to paste in our package directory next. If you don't know where that is, just browse local files in Steam. There's our packages. Just drag that in. That's your package path. Boom. All right. So now this is going to load up and it's going to take a little bit because it needs to cache all those lovely tags and strings and images and all that. So that's what it's going to do. And real, ta qu real quick, before we get started, quick tag will show spoilers. Obviously it is um, every, you know, image and string in the game. Um, so I obviously don't condone any actions and, uh, am not responsible for you spoiling yourself. Like, uh, the last time I recorded this, I accidentally hovered over a weapon icon for a weapon that's not in the game yet. So I'm not going to do that. And we're going to try to continue without spoiling ourselves. So, um, any second here, the catch should be done. Um... I guess while we wait, uh, I do actually have a glitching video in the works, I know, it's been a year, and uh, that'll be exciting, but I'm waiting on that to make sure I am clear of any um, potential violations and spoilers and stuff, because it's using th like tools that aren't released yet, and places that aren't released yet, and all that, so I'm going to try to tread lightly with that topic. So, uh, come on, come on, quick tag. You didn't take this long last time. Probably getting angry at me that because I keep deleting it and recaching and remaking, but what can you do? Um, what else can I talk about? Uh, oh yeah, map tutorial. That's going to be on hold for a while. I've got so many projects. Um, right now I'm working on um, the uh, new tower load in the Pale Heart, and that's going to be the big thing that I work on, and then Maybe if a different project gets off the ground, I'll be working on that, but I still don't know. And yeah. Um, man, I my, my hope is to try to get to the point where I have tutorials for everything that everyone asks me a question for. Because I'm still getting DMs about things, and uh, in the next iteration of the Charm tutorial, which will happen the next time Mont updates it, um, I will have a thing at the beginning because, who boy, the amount of times that I got a DM the day before Light or Final Shape saying, hey, why isn't Charm working? Yeah, it's because it's a new year. Of course it's not going to work. Anyways. Um, wow, why is this taking so long? I'm going to cut. Okay, okay, there we go. Um, all right, let's get started. Uh, we got tags, name tags, packages, strings, raw strings. Lots of things, lots of things you can look at. If you want to go through them, you can progress and look through, and it's all that. Very cool thing. Um, this is a very surface-level tutorial. I'm not going to tell you how to, like, traverse tags and try to find things um, that way, mostly because I don't know how to do it. Um, to start with your UI images, though, um, look up UI. And uh, UI Bootflow is the first destination we're going to look at. This is um, everything that appears in sort of the main menu. So you've got a few little icons here. You got like clan things for whatever reason. Uh, these images are what you see if you're like downloading the game in game. Um, over here, you've got little bits that make up the final shape background. Um, like there's beyond light and things like that. So that's our first little thing here. Um, uh, the next place that is going to have a lot of what you're looking for is a client startup. Um, this will have a lot of things that, 
or more things that show up in specifically like your inventory menu. So you got weapon icons, you've got uh, medals and things that you would see in the triumphs page. Uh, you got buffs. Buffs show up here. Um, you got a lot of things like that. That na that nature of items here. Uh, you got like triumph things. Lots of lots of stuff. Um, more medals, like mission icons. Uh, you want engrams? They'll be in here. Uh, things of that nature. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh yeah. You'll also get textures for the um, for the destination maps in here. The director. Uh, there will also be some like posters and things like. Um, this is one of the things that can easily spoil you. By the way. Uh, all of the icons that show up in game for like advertisement and stuff that is in here. Uh, no way, Oodle. Um, so yeah. Once again, more buffs. Anyways, um, the last place that really has a major um, chunk of the game is uh, Investment Globals. This is most of the UI images, and this will have everything else. So you've got uh, here's your weapon, or not weapon, your uh, like rarity backgrounds um you got your emblems you got like uh mods and things all that stuff is here and you can see they basically never delete any of their um icons and things and that's why sometimes you see like for example the motes of light this season um it's literally because they still had the d1 motes of light um just floating around in the ui images yeah here's your uh Here's your titles. By the way, um, this is a good point. The, it looks really washed out in here. And what you're going to have to do is go in and convert linear to sRGB um, in something like Photoshop. And that will help, you know, alleviate the, like, alleviate the look of it. Or the, like, washed out in it. Um, so that's, a, that's just a color space thing. But... Generally, I think in later versions of Quick Tag, like if you're watching this in the future, Kohei, I believe, has fixed this. He just hasn't like made a proper re release for it yet. So yeah, lots of icons, lots of things. And that's about it. And I could just spend the rest of the video just scrolling through here. Um, you got new shader icons. But uh, like I said, the last time I uh, recorded this, I accidentally hovered over a thing that doesn't exist yet. So I'm going to uh, play it safe. So one last thing that I do want to say before we go is uh, let's say that you're trying to look for a very specific um, icon, like uh, someone earlier was asking about buff icons. And so what you're going to want to do to find and pare down your search significantly is to search by the size of the icon. So in the bottom left there, you can see that it is 75 pixels by 75. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to type in 75 by 75 and there you go it is going to filter out everything down to this lovely thing and now we can just look for all of the buffs in all of the places so there you go all of the buff icons in the game nice and neatly organized just like that um and there's even more elsewhere so um yeah that is the very very high level overview of quick tag there's so much more um Oh yeah, if you wanted to find buffs in a different way, you could technically search up, like for example, if I do a metaphysical lead, the perk from uh, Last Wish, you can go through here and you can try to find it this way. So um, the way that you would do that is, um, for example, I just found the all of the buffs that are associated with um, associated with Last Wish. Um, and so you can go, you can see like, okay, here's this string hash. And then you go over here and you say, okay, that this one lines up with that one. We click on that and it is not the right one. This is so sad. Um, let's do that. Okay. This one should be it. And this is like other buffs and things. So you can go like this and technically speaking, you can find buffs this way. And then there's your tag references there. So you can get back to this that way. Um, it's not efficient in any way, and personally I don't recommend it, but um, that is an option for you.
Hey, it's Editor Group Snail. I forgot to say something. By the way, to save these images, you just right click them, copy texture, and it will, uh, you can like paste it into something like Photoshop or like Discord, what have you. Um, same thing as well. If we go back to our example that I just did here, this kind of buff, you can also copy texture from here. Okay, now that's it. Anyways, um, with that being said, I think that's it for, uh, this very quick tutorial. Um, like I mentioned at the beginning, I do have a new video coming out that is glitch related for once. Um, and I'm just waiting to make sure that um, I can uh, show that without stepping on anyone's toes really. So yeah, anyways, um, that is it for the video. Uh, pretend there's a cool outro.